Hey everyone, it's Rostick the Weatherman here, and today I want to give you an update on a couple interesting stories that we are following into the latter part of this week and into this weekend. First of all, we have a low pressure area that's going to be moving off the southeast coast, drying things out for parts of the southeast, including Florida, where you've been drenched in rain for the past several days. This area of low pressure is pretty much going to strengthen over the southeast coast. And then the computer models a couple of days ago were in kind of a disagreement of exactly what was going to happen, if it was going to pretty much hug and parallel the coast, or if it was going to kind of just go out to sea a bit more. However, recently over the past day, they have come into more agreement that it is going to go up a kind of in between of what they originally were, were pretty much um, thinking. And instead of just paralleling the coast or being way off to sea, we are going to have pretty much a kind of subtropical or, or hybrid storm, you want to say. It's not, it's not a tropical storm by um, any means, mainly because it doesn't have the characteristics of a tropical storm. Um, but this is no Hurricane Sandy, so don't worry, that's not going to happen at all. You know, you can forget about that. Pretty much, it's going to be a typical coastal storm, moves up the eastern seaboard, from places all the way from the Carolinas into New England, you are going to feel some effects if you live on the coast. You're going to have some rip currents, rough seas, high waves, some beach erosion, maybe some coastal flooding, depends on how strong and close the low actually gets to the, um, the coastline and everything. And then you also are going to have windy conditions as well on the beaches. Uh, but pretty much it's going to be feeling effects just generally along the coastlines really nothing inland is going to feel any effects from this coastal low. Um, it's not going to be named because it's not a tropical storm, so we don't have to worry about that. But this is going to happen toward the latter part of the weekend, Sunday going into Monday. So if you do live out on the coast, or if you are going to um, beach go pretty much for the whole entire weekend, just be mindful that you are going to have some rough seas the latter part of Sunday and going in. To Monday. But other than that, the Northeast, Mid Atlantic, beautiful weekend, highs in the mid 70s, perfect fall weather. So that's our first interesting story to talk about. The other story is wait for it snow. I know, I said it. Snow people in Montana, Idaho, and Wyoming falling today. Elevations above six and seven thousand feet, up to a foot of snow possible. Now, it's actually not uncommon to see snow at this time of year in these higher elevations. This is when we typically start to see the first snowflakes fall into the Rockies, especially above 5,000 feet. And places, you know, in Montana and Idaho and Wyoming, places are well above 5,000 feet. So if you are traveling in the bypasses pretty much on Interstate 90 and 15, there are some places above 5,000 feet you are going to run into some tricky, slippery spots, so be mindful of that. But again, very cold pocket of air moving across into the plains this weekend. We also are going to have a moist flow coming up from the Gulf of Mexico, which is going to spark some showers and th some thunderstorms. Isolated severe weather is possible, but no really tornadoes to really talk about. Um, there's only maybe a 10 to 20% chance of any tornadoes happening. Minneapolis today, 80 degrees. That's about 15 degrees above your average. Chicago, 84 degrees. That's also about 15 degrees above your average. Once the storm system pretty much pushes through the end of the week and going into the weekend, it is going to bring a damper on weekend plans if you have them outside. So if you do, you may have a backup plan to bring things inside. If you don't, oh well. I'm sorry to hear say, say that, but I unfortunately don't have any better news for the Plains and Midwest. I'm um, staying hot and hot and relatively dry into Texas. Dallas is going to be stuck in the middle 90s this weekend. You're going to have a break today and tomorrow, however, with some showers and storms, but that's going to move pretty much away and you're going to be stuck in the high and dry conditions again. And you're also going to be stuck again with some other conditions, just sunny conditions in the western states. So those are my stories today. Um, also, I am going to do another trailer for my my music video on my song Fire. I'll post that up next week. Also next week I'm going to bring up our October outlook for the country and then mark your calendars because on October 9th the winter 2013-2014 forecast officially comes out and I will definitely be doing a video on that letting you know what 
we can expect this winter across the country. Until then, remember to keep your eye to the sky.